Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm in Australia <laughs> and I'm going to show you what I got yesterday. Um, I went to go up to the town <laughs> and uh, to do the shopping, to do a bit of shopping, get some food in and stuff like that and other things. I had to buy a, a heater and a, and a jug, <laughs> um, you know, for boiling the kettle thing. Anyway, so off I go and I got... Um, not halfway, but partway. Then I thought, oh no, I'm going up to the, I'm going to go to the showground and look at the canvas these things. So off I went. So I didn't have too bad a day. Got a few books and I got these little bits here that were in a packet with. Oh, hang on, did I buy these there? No, I think I got these at Vinnie's. So this is, and then I went there after I bought the stuff home that I got at the other place and then I went to Vinnie's and I got these. But I went to Can Assist first and I didn't. I started out at half past nine i left home and i got home at past one but i've come back here like um in between them times so wants to drop some things off so this has got invitations and i don't know if i'll use them maybe i'll use the front part uh, this bit here um not a big fan of that bit there but uh, that's okay the color and i do like these envelopes they're really nice so that was good that i got them um, these were in a packet for a dollar, all this, and it was also had some um, sort of stencils in them, but I, I've since allocated the stencil somewhere else. And these are, you know, the little ferret, and they're stickers. Aren't they beautiful? So you can just put them on. Maybe they're not stickers. No, these are not stickers. I thought they were stickers. They're little push-out things. Um, and the strawberry fairy paper, and that piece of paper. So they're probably for making something out of, I don't know. I thought they were little stickers, but I'm not that disappointed, I suppose, because I can still use them. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And now I know what I'm going to do with them too now, don't I? <laughs> There's another one the same. This one's a bit different. It's got um, different things in it. I'll just have a look in this one and see what it's like. But I don't know what they were actually or there's might be a book or something in that I'll have a look anyway so there's these ones aren't they pretty thinking of you best wishes there's another paper maybe this is to fix a booklet or do something with I don't know <laughs> I'm not even going to try now that's enough trying to <laughs> think of it Sonia I'll just have a look in this one so it wasn't too bad up the street um there wasn't a lot of people, not that many about, and I just kept away from, you know, we all talked, if we talked, stopped and talked, we stayed distant, we did our distancing, we just stayed away from one another. These are really nice, you know, these are going to look really awesome. And, and there's just the papers, so I don't know, it must be just like a little kit or some sort of, must be a kit for this fairy thing, and I'm thinking I should put them all in the one bag, eh? There's bits here everywhere now. I need to put them in a packet because I do not want to get them all. Do you think they'll all fit back in here? Okay. Yeah, so I did go back to Can Assist. I went up to Can Assist, which is a big sale that they have at the showground. So Tuesdays and Thursdays mornings it opens, but you're only allowed about 10. Uh, it's in a big pavilion, so they only allowed about 10 people and 6 to 10 people in there at a time anyway. But there wasn't many people up there yesterday. I think most of us are trying not to tell too many people because, well, it doesn't matter who, how many people know, it's still, um, you know, you're still limited or you have to, you wait outside. I've not had to come. Anyway, that's going to be a different day for putting that back in there, isn't it? I need to keep them in a... I have a box here with these sort of things in it, don't we? Anyway, we'll do that. <laughs> Just don't worry, we're nobody panic about that. Now, what else did I get from Vinnie's? Um, oh, no, that's all. Now, I got these books. I got this one here, and this is uh, covered with some sort of fabricy sort of stuff. Look, this is cool, isn't it? It's like a, it's like plastic, a fabric glue thing <laughs> it's only a little book it's a bird it's a bird watching book i think it says a bird a bird book for the pocket so 
it's got all these it's fairly old it is um, let me see got all that yellowy spots on it yellow spots age spots I suppose like we get <laughs> 1942 was the last one that this was published this one 42 um, and it's got some nice good paper nice paper and nice pictures of the of birds which are sort of good for maybe a antique looking or you know vintage looking journal -y thingy <laughs> you know um, I don't know whether I'll that's a nice one that owl well even that one I like that jay thing whatever that a jay bird is and there's another little owl but I did, did say it really not, all my fingernails here are not really good sorry about that um, keep breaking them or getting them caught. Look at that, he's a nice that barn owl, isn't he? So, but see, these would be good, these um, pages, if I want to make something, pockets or something out of them. But, um, I don't think it'll... You just worry about it, that it breaks. you got to worry about that it might break. So I'm going to just... I'm just going to turn that page over there. That's not breaking, look. Ah, that's cool, eh? Nip that one out. See, if you get a really old page, sometimes they fall, they break it when you crease them. But that didn't. So, oh dear, that's good. They're a good little size, aren't they? And that's a nice little book. Um, I got this one here. It says Familiar Flowers of Field and Garden, and it was given to Doris in 1942. It was printed in 1937. There's the last um, thing on here, 1937. So this is, feels like good paper too. It's got a lot, it's all um, black and white pictures, but I like them sometimes. Just depends if I can fit them in something. And it's got age spots too. And my nose is itching me now, as per usual. My face. So this has got nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Be a good idea if I show you. <laughs> now everything's got a scratch on it. <laughs> dear oh dear. It's supposed to be a good day today, but it's raining again. <laughs> and I was planning on going back up there tomorrow for the canisters because the ladies were unpacking yesterday, and then so to Thursday there should be a few more bits and pieces out. I don't know how I don't know how they're going to fit them in there, but they they will. So that's a nice one, isn't it? I don't mind the cover on that either. I don't know whether I'd keep it. I might do a journal. Yet. I don't know. So there's that one there. And then this one is I, I was very infatuated by this. It says Nature's Problems. Okay, and this has got a really old. These pages are cool, aren't they? Here and that one. And the first thing I've seen in this, I'll show you. This one's a copy, this is 45 too, this is 1945. The copyright is on this. It's got these really good pictures, aren't they? Cool, I like the picture. But I was in, impressed with this. It says, living things reproduce. It's a non-living thing will, with, can do this. No non-living thing can do this. Living things reproduce. So I suppose this is learning a thing. You say, so you know what's living and what's not. Can it move without being helped? Does it grow? Does it need oxygen? Can it reproduce? Well, I suppose you've got to learn this from somewhere, don't you? What is living and what is not. So that's somebody's mark that with a pencil. <laughs> but this has got nice pictures in, and it's all about different things. You know, there's lots of... Um, I've, I've went through and looked at it a bit. I'm not, I am don't know if I'm going to cut it up yet. I want to... Um, I suppose I know a bit about life, but this is nice, isn't it, this picture? They're really old. I do, I do, I do like them. It's got lots of um, detailed things about about nature and, and stuff like that. And there's another... Um, and nice pictures too, eh? But it used to be good. I think the pages will be good because they're a little bit... They're not actually glossy, but they're... Um, that's nice. There's a nicer one here. I like that. I do like that there. That's a really nice picture. And this one. These the old um, illustrations. I think they're really good. And this one here is one of my favourites. This wattle. 
it tells you all about the little seeds and everything right in, in, into their business, you know. <laughs> and there's a the food thing, which has always been the food thing, I think. I suppose so. But I really do like these um, interesting things to look at. Uh, you know, just or something else I've seen, I was looking at, I can't remember now what it was. But it tells you all about the butterfly, you know, when she's when it's in the cocoon and we sort of know them things but we don't really know the right down to the nitty gritty of it I suppose we don't really have to but I don't know it's just interesting to me I, I, I enjoy learning things even even to do you know with things I think I know sometimes we don't sometimes we might just think we know <laughs> anyway so that was that one and I really liked that book I do like these dragonflies and it's got the life history of a dragonfly there so that's interesting, isn't it? Well, it is to me. <laughs> anyway, so I like that. I was going to, I'm thinking about keeping the cover on that too, just, ch you know, fixing the outside if I do take it apart. Okay, so then I got from <laughs> the lady up there, who's, oh, well, I've made a friend, befriended some of the ladies up there anyway, because I used to see them all the time anyway different places and she said to me well I don't care what you do with the book once you take it away so <laughs> so I got this and I think other ladies have had one of these I don't know I've seen anybody it won't fit in the picture it's very huge it's um, <laughs> it is it's um the 2003 edition and it's Australian through time Australia through time and it's got all these amazing ads and things through here and different things like that. Look at the pictures. Look at these pictures. It's got all these sort of pickies through it. And it's not shiny really. It's sort of matte. It's not shiny. It's all it's nice and matte so there's a lot of cutting out. And if you can see any of this stuff here. I'll go back out a bit further. So it's got all these things in it that I can um well <laughs> it'd probably take me forever to use the stuff that was in here but I can um tear out a few pages that I that I like and then cut off the little bits because you know all these little bits and pieces to see if I anything that I really like on on the top of all of them there's some of these pictures here the little square pictures um, the, it starts back in 1872 I don't know if you can see that on there it's on there somewhere yeah oh before that I should say and goes right through to 2002 which is I mean, that's 18, this is 18 years ago, you know, that this was, and that's, that was a while to an 18 year old. No, that's only young, but <laughs> most of to, to me it is too. About the sewing machine. It's got all these good old pickies, all these old pictures. Um, you'd think you'd never have to print another one off, but you don't know, do you? <laughs> so I might just. Um, have to go through and see what I can find that I like and then just pull out the pages and see what for whatever I'm making at the time I imagine and the, the, then I'll forget I owned it I really will I probably forget that it's about and I um because I'm going to have to put it in the bookshelf in the spare room I think because I don't think I can keep it out here it's too big and it doesn't take up too much space for me but anyway so you can imagine that that's just absolutely amazing 52. This is all that before I was born. Well, there's probably much more. That's it. Where's mine? Here. 55. There we go. This is what happened. I don't think it's got... Sonia was born anywhere there. <laughs> ah, dear. Sorry for being silly. Um, yeah, so there's a, there's a Vegemite ad. And Doll opens in Melbourne of the 17th doll described as the best play ever written. Summer of the 17th doll described as the best play ever written in Australia has opened in Melbourne. Well, I've never ever heard of that, but then again, that was a while back, I don't think I'd remember. All, there's a telly, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness me, there's a TV. <laughs> Not like that now. That lady's excited about mowing the lawn. <coughs> Deary me. Slim and Dusty. My mother played his, his songs. That's all I can remember. <laughs> I, she did like them sort of songs. <coughs> Excuse me. A good Holden car. 
had one of those. Mum used to drive us to school in one of these. She used to trot along that slow. I swear I could have walked there, but that was when I was about five or six, so I suppose I wasn't allowed to do that. There's a Westinghouse ad. That's a nice ad, isn't it? Not, there's some really nice things in this that I can make um, tags or cards or things out of, I think. Love the bathroom. Cole Joy Rock and Roll Star. All right, 1960. Good ad there with the stove. Nice pink stove. And there you go, they were fashionable back then, weren't they? There's a school near Dubbo, schoolhouse. They were small them days, weren't they? These are Seekers. I remember them when I was growing up from singing. <laughs> I suppose we all would. It's very good, isn't it? And it's absolutely huge. <laughs> but I really like it and it was pretty much nothing. Because, I mean, they charged me $3 for the books, I think. And I don't mind paying three dollars for the books. Now I've got some more things here in the bag. I've got some more things in the bag. Now I bought this because, okay, because I don't have to have a reason. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Now this is glass and this is plastic. Well maybe this is not actually, yeah it is, it's like glass. It's got strawberry, it looks like strawberries on there. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. And it was, it was a new thing and it was sitting there. And so you could not Leave it sitting there, of course. There's another bit of it. And here's another bit. That's probably needs wiping by the look of this. Well, the ladies do a really good job of trying to keep things clean because it's hard because the pavilion's really old and it's not easy for them to, to keep things from getting too... And I've got a little heater on the floor that um, cost uh, 80 something dollars and I paid four dollars for it and it's working here because mine that I had in my room just died so <clears throat> I bought a new heater. Look at that. Aren't they cool? I like them. They're beautiful. don't know what I'm going to... I'm going to use them in here. Oh look at that. I can put something in them. <laughs> I don't know what. But I think I could. I could just take the spoon out. Come up with buttons or something, anything, you know. I just wanted to have them, that's all That's all there is to it, you see. I just wanted to have them. And then I've got, um, I don't know how that come to be there, another one of those. Uh, I bought a bit of jewellery, because I have a bit of an idea, of course. Uh, be, sorry about this, I'm hanging over the side of the chair, getting something out of the bag. On the floor. I bought these bits and pieces, you probably think they're a bit strange things to buy, but I have an idea, so, well, you know I like to take bits apart anyway. <coughs> because these were in the, the bag. Now this is really cool, this is a little book of quotations, and I think this is really neat. I'll come back down in here a bit so you can see what I'm doing, thank you. And, um, it has got good quotations in there, look at that. See? My idea was, though, to use this on something else. And then I can use the inside, these, use these bits, all these little quotes, on something else. Can't I? Because they're already there for you. Okay? And I don't have to use that bit if I don't want to. But there's one about grow old with me, and this one's friends or family choose. For, we choose for ourselves, and that's really cool. So I'm going to pull it to pieces. Maybe I'm not going to be able to use 
this bit and I did want to use that bit I don't know yet but I thought well you know those they're just sitting in a pile of stuff there that I can just use and this is a um, RSPCA thing it has a lady's name on the other side so I'm not going to turn it over but the idea of the, the whole thing I like there's a what did you get there look at it <laughs> I'm going to um, use this for something else okay that's going to be something else right so th there's going to be pictures and things on these okay they're going to be different it's going to be made into something different to what it is so I've also got this one here that's got bits on it that you can hang up look that's cool eh? I like that I like it but I wouldn't wear it I, I mean I don't know if I can get it apart either without causing a problem but I'd like all these little separate little bits on there I've got all these little flat sort of they're not actually flat they're so this is a um, earring see earring and these pieces I do like to hang on to tags and things so I've got two of those she gave me this one because there was only one because I paid a couple of dollars each for those for that and that and this one because it was for to help people with cancer that's why they have the the stuff it's all donated to them and they have the jewelry like those are the first things I showed you I got those out of the little dish that went into the bag that I paid three dollars for I think the rest of this stuff but I paid money for these because well it goes to a good cause so I'm thinking I can do something with these if they are if they're gonna stay on that piece of wire because they've got little crimps on them and I'm thinking about what I can do with that because it's already put together you know so you've got that much there of this now they're stuck together they are aren't they they're crimped on so I'm going to try and see what I can do with that there's this really neat um, mother of pearl thing with a butterfly on it which is showing there was only one of those there but I've well I got that anyway so, and these alright so that I was really pleased with these because you know, I've, I sort of picked them out and thought, oh, I'm going to do something with them. I went up there with an idea of what I wanted to do. So, and this is a tray that goes underneath this. So like that. So you can put your jam in, maybe. So we don't need a lot of jam. I don't know. It's really cool. And I can use that for putting something in. I want to look through dishes or things. Now I've got heaps of hankies. Right, I went. I got some from Can Assist and I got some from the Vinnies. Now some of them have got. They've. I've taken them out of the packets because I wanted to see what they were like. And they've got these marks on them. People like their marks on things. I don't, but um, get off there. Um, but I've got the embroidered part. See, I've got this bit here that I really like. I can also use strips of the hankies to put in something else can't I or to do tear them out and do things with them okay and there's this one so they all come out of their pack they all come out of their boxes um I think I, pa I paid a little bit of well for five dollars I think for a fair few that I got up at the can it says that's a nice piece that one nice bit that'll go on some work so is that this is neat I like that it's got velvet, a velvet sort of thing on it. See, you can feel the feel the velvet on it. That'll look nice in one of my pages as a pocket, won't it? In my book. <laughs> I might have to make more books. I get, said to hubby, I might have to spend more time in here because I'm not getting enough done. I'm in here real early this morning. I come in here at up our state. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. But that's been done by a machine. Well, that's okay, but it's got to get there somehow, doesn't it? This is fairly old, this one, by the look of it, and it's got a butterfly on it. And I love it, it's all see-through, and that'll make another good pocket. This one, this here's deteriorated a bit, it's all coming apart. Look at that, that's where the paint's breaking off. That's a shame. This is really nice, isn't it? Now, I haven't seen these properly, because I looked at them out in the lounge room, and I you know, didn't have my glasses on, and I really like this. <laughs> wow. I'm a big fan of applique, but this is really awesome, isn't it? Goodness me, I love that. That's really nice. Oh dear, I'm going to have to put that too somewhere nicely. <laughs> oh well, 
I shouldn't say this, but I do have a port suitcase full of hankies. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> I can't reach it. I'm naughty, aren't I? <laughs> I'm naughty. <laughs> no, I'm not. I do really enjoy doing this shopping. Look at that. And I love this beautiful little work. Now, this is actually done by a person, as far as I can see. This is not done by a machine, as far as I know, because there's a bit of applique on there. And there's tiny, tiny um, bullion stitches making this dear little flower. And there's that one there. So this one here has been done by somebody, you know, and so is this one. These were still in the box, and I took them out of the box. And it's really incredible, you know, the box was so sturdy because I wanted the box to do something with it. It was this, this, this is it here, right? This is but half of it. I cut it in half and then I pushed that, pushed that end down into there to make it um, have an end on it because I was putting things in it that I was cutting out last night. Okay, so I needed... And this is the thickest cardboard stuff and really hard to cut through. It was the solidest thing. And I suppose that's because of the age of it too. The thing's a bit more flimsy now. But I don't know if you get hankies in nice boxes like that. And this has got a tiny little flower in every corner. Look at that. Isn't that neat? But anyway, I said to the lady, I said, feel bad about buying all this. She said, oh, no, it's all right. You have them, dear. <laughs> Somebody was buying them, I suppose. Nobody probably, not people don't necessarily want them anymore. This is cool now. This can go in my book. Can't it? Oh dear, this is nice. Now somebody's done this too. This is handmade. This has all been made by hand and crocheted in the corner. That's nice, eh? Here's another one, but I don't know if it's <coughs> somebody's hard work. <coughs> might be somebody's hard work. Yeah, look at that. I think it might be. Some of these things, I don't know. I can't really tell now with that. It's a little bit old looking, but it's all right. I can use bits of it. I can use bits of it. Here's another one. I don't think these things haven't been used. They've just been sitting around in wherever. Oh, look at that. We've got a few bits on this too. Here. Oh, I like these. Isn't that pretty? Another pocket. Tuck. Something. Okay. And there's this one. It's a bit khaki. <laughs> we'll be putting this in the bin. I think that one can go in the bin, you know, just quietly. I do. Same here with that one. So you do get you do get bad ones with them, don't you? You can't like these. There was bundles at Vinnie's. They go in the garbage. There was bundles at Vinnie's, and they were like rolled up, and they were a dollar a bundle. And these other ones I bought up at Ken Assist, and they were fifty cents. Well, I bought five dollars worth of them because I wanted. I did want these. I mean, it's worth fifty cents to get two of those, wouldn't it? And that. That's beautiful. Anyway, so that was that, and I think that might be all, wouldn't it? That could be all, or there might be bits more I'm not showing you, I don't know. But I, I just thought I'd do a, a, a shopping one, because I hadn't done it for a long time. Um, to show you what... Oh yeah, and i got these. These are joint boots. <laughs> That's cool. Good legs. For an art doll, maybe? Um, oh, something. I thought there was something in them, so I thought I'll have those. I was sitting in a jar up there, so I'll grab them out. So, anyway, so that was what I went and did yesterday, and um, I had a really good time out. And I wanted to do it again Thursday, but you know how that works, don't you? You don't necessarily get to do. So that's why I went today, because I thought, just my luck, yes, I mean, but just my luck that it's raining on Thursday. It was Wednesday, and it hasn't. And a star drone, so I don't know. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.